Hi everyone, it's Bridget. I am a design team member for Craft Supplies for You. Obviously, you know that. Um, I am going to show you how you can use your credit card when you make purchases on the website instead of having to use your PayPal account. Um, I know there's been some questions on how to use um, a MasterCard or a Visa on this website, and I am going to walk you through how I do it. Um, I'm at the home page of Craft Supplies for You, and I've already put something in my shopping cart. And so I went, you know, if you go back to the home, okay, so I just went and I went to metals and I chose the pin, so buy now. So now I have two of these pins in my shopping cart, and it gives a total. So now I want to go to checkout over here. And it gives me my information, my billing address. Um, the reason why I automatically come up is because I am logged into my account. Now maybe I should go back. Let me log out. Okay, so I'm logged out. I'm just a regular, you know, I'm a first-time customer. Um, I don't know. It's kind of easier if you guys just create an account there. Um, for me, it's easier because then I can just hit log in and it saved my username and password and I'm automatically logged in. But so I'm just going to go to metals and I think it's going to give me a, a place to um, log me in anyways. So I want to buy these and of course I selected them. I go to checkout over here and then see here's the page where it gives you where you can log in by using your username and if I just hit the B I'm automatically in there so I can log in if you don't have a login which I highly recommend that you go and just make an account it's not a big deal I mean it's not like you, she sees your credit card or whatnot or your PayPal account whatever you know it's just it's easier that way and then you just save your username and password and you know it's just and then you you know it's just easier to do it this way but anyways let me go on so if you don't have an account, you have to put in all this information, anything that's um, asterisked here, you have to put in this information. So I'm just going to log in. It's the same. I believe it's the same, but if you have an account, this is what you do. Okay, you log in. So I'm going to continue to check out. And once again, there's my information. Um, and of course, my payment method is you know this I will be able to change it says PayPal now but continue to check out and then once again we're at this page this is step three of three in the order confirmation if you can see my little cursor there so here's my total I'm gonna confirm my order so then we come to this page and everybody's like oh no I paid for it already with my PayPal it has not gone through your PayPal this is where you would log into your PayPal account and it would pay this invoice through your PayPal account. We don't want to use PayPal. So instead, underneath there, even though you may have a PayPal account, underneath it says, don't have a PayPal account, click that. Here it will give you where you can pay with your debit or credit card. See, pay with debit or credit card. And then you just fill out this information, you know, what card you want. You type in the card number, you, you type in the expiration date and the little three-digit code on the back of the card. And then it gives you, you know, all your information. Now you guys have my phone number. You can stalk me. Just kidding. Um, so anyway, so um, then you just click pay. And then it will process it under that credit card and not your PayPal account and you will get your items um, when she ships them, which is within a day. Okay, so I don't want to order the pins, but um, anyways, I wanted to just show you guys how you could use your credit card with Julie's shop instead of using your PayPal account. And if you have any questions, just leave them below. And thanks everybody for watching.